Hello, I'm Kevin Coleman, Westland State Representative in Lansing, but I live right here in Westland at Wayne and Cherry Hill. I'm 40 years old, and I've lived in Westland for almost 30 years. When Mayor Wilde resigned earlier this year, it occurred to me that the city needs someone with experience and a great track record of results to take the helm in the mayor's office. And I believe that I'm that someone as I'm the only candidate with state government and local experience on my resume. We must choose wisely as this election will have an effect on our city for years to come. I have a lifelong commitment to Westland and that's why I decided to help our community through public service. That's why I ran for city council and was first elected here in Westland 10 years ago. As our councilman, I helped open a new community center, advocated for additional police officers to be hired, and expanded services for seniors. Five years ago, I was elected to be our representative in Lansing, and I travel there every, work, every week to work hard on Westland's behalf and have never missed a day of work for you in the last nine years. I'm the chairman of the Michigan Housing Committee and vice chairman of the Military and Veterans Affairs Committee. I'm proud to have repealed the senior pension tax, and I've brought back tens of millions of dollars in new funding for Westland, including an additional $12 million for our local schools just this year alone, and $7 million for our Westland Fire Department. I'm running for mayor because I have very serious concerns about what is going on at City Hall, and I know it will take experienced leadership someone who knows government and knows how to get results to address the challenges we're facing going forward. My opponent, who was appointed until the election, is not getting the job done. We have the lowest amount of police officers and firefighters we've ever had, and he's even using COVID emergency funds to plug holes in our city budget. Now, I don't usually take props to speeches when I make them, and I didn't today, but I'll tell you one thing. If I had my wallet here, I'd tell you to hold on to yours pretty tightly. My opponent is spending city money so recklessly that our budget would be in a deficit within three years and there's been talk at City Hall of new taxes being levied on citizens. This is not the time for new taxes. I will be a mayor that understands that people are on fixed incomes and we can't afford new taxes for huge political promises. My plan for Westland includes keeping taxes low and bringing in new business investment to grow our tax base. I've met with the owners of Westland Mall and have had early discussions about utilizing state grants and TIFA funds to prepare mixed-use development there, including medical, office, residential, restaurants, and other uses beyond just retail. Helping people is why I got involved in politics in the first place. I know you have to be a good listener to do the job, and helping others is one of the most important things you can do in this life. That's why I've worked hard on a plan to address the challenges we face, and my plan's already in motion. The reason we're getting two new state-of-the-art fire stations and a training facility is because of the work I've already done securing $7 million in state funding, and this includes purchasing top-notch life-saving equipment. This is just the beginning of what I will accomplish for our community as mayor. With the fire department receiving several million in new funding that I've secured, we now need to turn our focus to the police department. They are still underfunded and understaffed, and as our, as our mayor, I will never do what others have done and defund the police. I will make neighborhood safety a top priority. My plan also shifts funding to offset very large costs to the city, which I will use for hiring more police officers and firefighters to keep us safe. My plan for Westland is already in motion and that's why I'm asking you to vote for someone already addressing the needs of our community and getting us results, not someone with big campaign promises that have yet to materialize. Results and experience matter, and I'll continue to work hard to keep getting these kinds of results for all of us. Other pieces of the Coleman plan are to ensure access to job opportunities by connecting high school graduates with trade schools and encourage entrepreneurship. We need to make our community more secure for all of us, and that means cracking down on neighborhood speeding and updating crosswalks, crosswalks and signage to reduce dangerous accidents. Up-to-date tree trimming, lawn cutting, expanding our recycling program, and a citywide infrastructure plan to reduce power outages and flooding are all going to be addressed not later, but right away. I've brought record funding back to Westland schools, and I plan to expand Westland's partnership with our schools so that families can be assured that our children have a safe and secure learning environment. Senior services such as group activities, transportation, and more access to our parks and city facilities will also be included. 
I'm looking forward to working with City Council to make Westland residents assured they live in a safe community with access to great public services, parks, our library, all while keeping taxes low. The biggest difference between my opponent and I is I'm just like you. I understand the difficulty in paying bills and the taxes that are high already that many in our community face. As the son of a nurse and UAW auto worker, I understand having to work hard to make ends meet. I will never waste our tax dollars for self-promotion or break the law to use city funds for campaign purposes. This has been my biggest disappointment in our current interim. I plan to make sure people in our community know they have someone at City Hall who's on their side and not beholden to the powers that be. This is why I'm working so hard to win this election, because I know you're counting on me, and I do not plan to let you down. I'm asking for your vote because Westland deserves the best of the best, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to have already achieved great results for all of us. This is why so many local organizations and trusted elected officials have supported my candidacy. I'm endorsed by Wayne County Commissioner Glenn Anderson, who served our community for over 30 years, and he'll be advising me as I transition into the mayor's office. Councilman Jim Godbout, who served on city council for over 20 years, along with Councilman Peter Herzberg and Mike McDermott. Former Westland Mayor Gene McKitty, former candidate and retired police chief Ali Awadi. The UAW is 100% behind me as they know I will always have their back. AFSCME State and City Employees Union, Multiple state senators and state representatives in the area are backing me. Our Wayne Westland teachers and school staff, retired firefighters and police officers have endorsed me. Operating engineers, laborers, local 1191, bricklayers and allied craft workers, International Bureau of Electrical Workers, and over a dozen more local, state, and county officials and elected groups. This election is about our city's future, and I hope you'll join me and support my vision for Westland. We have a great city with so much potential, but we have got a lot of work to do. That's why I need your vote on or before November 7th or by turning in your absentee ballot. You can read more about my plan, ColemanForMayor.com, visit my Facebook page, Kevin Coleman for Mayor, call me, 734-751-6321, or email me, KevinColemanCC at gmail.com. Your support means a lot to me, and this is not a task that I take lightly. I want to continue to work hard for you as our mayor. I'm Kevin Coleman, and I appreciate your consideration. Thank you.